why we're here to talk about a little bit about being safe out on the roads, uh, the weather conditions, you know, snow, rain, fog, wind, uh, and the dry roads too. Uh, just uh, kind of how to be safe out there. Always check your weather conditions before you leave home. Um, I have uh, the Weather Channel on my phone, so I always check the app. If we pick a load that's going to another state, we always check the weather before we leave to see what it's giving. Um, just always be prepared in case something happens because um, you never know. No. Uh, okay, as far as uh, driving in the snow, uh, just take your time, slow down. Uh, leave plenty of following distance. Uh, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, black ice. It's uh, something that you can't see. It's just looks like the road's wet. Uh, there's a couple of signs you can kind of keep track of, see if uh, it might be freezing. Uh, watch the cars in front of you. If there's no spray coming off the cars in front of you, off the tires, usually that shows that the road is frozen or is freezing. Uh, your windshield will start icing and the back of your mirrors uh, is a couple of good signs. And uh, bridges and overpasses, they freeze first. Just because the air flows under them it, it makes them colder faster, which causes uh, the roadway to freeze faster. And it could cause black ice there. Uh, and snow will start sticking to them a lot faster too. With the, the fog, uh, especially don't overdrive and definitely don't follow anybody else uh, that's in front of you. You never know if they could be running off the road or be sitting alongside of the road uh, you can come up on them and plow right into them uh, with the fog you definitely uh, want to take your time uh, when it's dark outside and foggy uh, don't use your high beams because usually it'll actually uh, blind you more uh, don't follow anybody close or don't um, expect the car don't assume that the car in front of you knows where the road is because they could uh, be driving off the road and you can just follow right after them or they could be sitting alongside of the road and you can plow into them you have to take your time and watch what you're doing uh, windy conditions you want to Slow down. Slow down. And... Uh, the higher your vehicle sets, the more you are acceptable to be blown over. Um, our vehicle sets tall, so when it gets windy, I usually try to back off at least five, anywhere to five to ten miles per hour. Especially if it's real bad, because the gust will take you right over. Yeah, it'll push you all over the road. Um, rainy conditions, you want to slow down. Uh take your time if you get under the speed limit what the posted speed limit is during a rain or storm uh, always put your hazard lights on so the truck or the car behind you know that you're slowing down because of the weather so they won't plow right into you thinking you're going the speed limit yeah um, remember road conditions when they when it starts raining uh, it's slicker because it pulls all the oil that's in the road up to the surface so the first uh, 30 minutes when it starts raining is the most dangerous time to be driving on the road and don't ever use your uh, cruise control with it when it's raining or snowing you could hydroplane yep um, you want to be able to control the speed yourself uh, another tip with the snow is uh, if 
you start to slide, put it in neutral. Uh, it keeps the car car from the wheels from keep pushing you. It'll kick in neutral. It's easier to control. Always carry an emergency kit with you if possible. Uh, flashlight, some water, a blanket. Um, just in case you get stranded on the side of the road or your car breaks down, it's better to have that stuff. Uh, other things you need to watch out for when you're out there is like for wild animals, deer, uh, coyotes, stuff like that running out in front of you. Uh, sometimes that's hard to prevent but if you look far enough down the road you can see it you know most of the time um, road work construction workers uh, be careful slow down in the construction areas uh, they got families to go home to too and I mean and you don't want that on your conscience about hurting somebody or killing somebody or it's it's just better to slow down uh, pay attention to the when you're on the side roads uh, with children being out playing running out from in, uh, between cars uh, and uh, follow your road signs I mean most times they'll tell you what's going on ahead of you and then a lot of these states has got a rule or a law set that motorcycles can go right down between two cars if they're like traffic stop for road work or a lot of traffic backed up. I know in California, I was sitting four hours in backed up traffic and motorcycles goes down between two cars. Don't ever open your door because you could kill one because it is a law they're allowed to do that. But in some states they're not and they still do it. But they have um, actually, yeah, they find they have fined people for opening up doors to uh, stop the motorcycles from coming through and actually causing um, accidents. accidents and deaths. Yeah. And then there's a another uh, little saying uh, it's called goal especially when you're backing up it's uh, get out and look uh, if you're not sure where you're backing into or what you're backing into always get out check behind your car or vehicle just to see what's back there what you're where you're backing into uh, make sure you're not going to back into anything and when you're pulling up to back in, uh, part of the Smith system, get the big picture. Look around. Look, see what's what spot you're backing into. Look what's on each side. Look what's in front of you. Make sure the area is clear that you're backing into. Yeah, we, and whenever I'm driving, I get ready to park. We go go into a parking lot. Tony will say, you see that pole over there, don't you? When you come in... You look around and make sure you see everything that's in that parking lot so you know where it's at when you start to back up so he helps me out a lot uh, looking for things that I don't want to hit um, because you can back into something because you don't have no eyes behind you besides your side mirrors that's all you have and if you don't see what's in front of you when you're coming in you don't know what's behind you yeah uh, there's been several accidents with uh, poles jumping out in front of trucks that's the problem uh, if you're not aware of your surroundings, uh, you can lose track of uh, things that's in there, uh, around there, that could potentially be an accident. And another thing on the Smith system, and always look ahead. If you're coming up to a stoplight and it's, get, it's starting to turn yellow, look on down to your second one, if there's, because usually there are three or four in a row. Look on down the road to see what color that one is. So if you're getting your speed back up, you're going to have to know if you're going to have to slow down for the second one. But always look ahead. And keep an eye what's going on in front of you. Yeah, especially with uh, talking about red lights. Uh, if it's green when you're way down the road and you can still see it's green, it's called a stale light. Uh, if it's stale, it's going to change pretty soon. So anticipate that light going to change on you if if it, if you're coming up onto it because. You won't have to brake as hard uh, or potentially run it, potentially get a ticket. Um, and the same with the intersection. As you start down and you see an intersection, check off all three sides besides yours. Make sure that there's nothing coming out of that intersection or could possibly come out as you're going through it. Yeah. Um, 
there's something called the Smith system and it helps you with your driving and helps protect you keep you from having accidents there's five keys in the Smith system number one is aim high in steering number two is get the big picture number three is keep your eyes moving number four is leave yourself an out and number five is make sure they see you if you follow these rules it'll help you from keep from getting in an accident uh, it'll keep you safe and everybody else safe well not everybody else safe well Just, everybody around you. you you got all the other ones to worry about uh, uh, aggressive driving Yeah, that's my favorite. Um, as truckers, we try to keep a cushion space. Um, so when we're slowing down, because it takes us a lot longer to slow down, and if we're loaded, it's twice that. So we try to leave a space in front of us. And when we start to stop, there'll be somebody thought, oh, well, they left that spot for me. I'm just gonna slide on in there. So there goes our safety cushion about stopping. And they don't understand, we can't stop these things on a dime. And they're going to get plowed in the tail by somebody. Yeah. Um, there's a st statistics that says a, a car traveling 65 miles per hour uh, would take three 300 feet to stop. That's the length of a football field. In comparison of a fully loaded tractor and trailer running 65 miles per hour, it takes about 525 uh, feet to stop. So you're talking almost two football fields. So when you're out there and you think there's a spot that uh, I can jump in, think again. I mean, you can jump in it, but those trucks are not going to stop like a car can stop. They uh, and they can do a lot more damage to your little car than. Uh, Back in November, when uh, Pennsylvania got the big snow, they got eight inches that fell within six hours. Um, there was a car that cut a semi off, and the semi couldn't stop. It plowed it in the back, and the, the road was shut down for what? That whole night? It was shut down for It was shut down hours. for hours because the, the semi hit the car in the back because it couldn't stop because the road conditions were bad when then the car cut the semi off. So it can happen. It can happen on dry surfaces as well as it could can slick surfaces. Just when you see that spot open, don't grab it. It's there for a reason. Yeah. Um, talking about other truckers running up on on you too. They're they're not using their their senses. I mean, they're they're not playing it smart. Um, not every not everybody's going to drive properly or drive the way they should. Um, but if you're looking at to be safe out there, uh, definitely check out the Smith system. Get to learn a little bit more. Incorporate it in your driving. It'll keep you safer out there. You can't you can't control everybody else around you, but you can control what you're doing. Um, and remember goal. Get out and look. If you're not sure, please get out and look. It might save your life or somebody else's life. There could be a kid behind you. Get out and look. And uh, as far as uh, texting and driving, we see it all the time. Uh, I could I could probably make a whole video out of one day. It'd probably take an hour with taking pictures of everybody out there. And that's the thing. We're not allowed to do it. It'll go against our CDLs. But we see a lot of truck drivers going down the road with this thing in their hand, texting, or on Facebook. And... Uh, cars too I mean that's uh, but they say it's getting worse as being it's worse than drunk driving. driving drunk driving so pay attention I mean you're you're putting your life and you're putting somebody else's life at risk I mean it's like they say a license is a privilege so respect that privilege and respect yourself I mean you might not like what we're saying but we're trying to keep you safe I mean you have a family friends that care about you 
Um, and if you die in an accident over looking at your phone or doing something stupid, being aggressive, or just not following the rules, you you're you're not just hurting yourself if you even make it out of it. You're hurting your family. You got family, you got friends that you're going to hurt, that's going to be left behind, that's going to grieve over you all. So think when you're behind that wheel because you have loved ones that want to see you again, that want you home, that love you. And we want to go home and see our families and we want to be safe on the road. So we don't want to be on the road with people on on the uh, smartphones or any kind of other phone texting or drinking or whatever we're all out there to make a living and we want to do it safely hopefully uh, you'll take something away from this video uh, just uh, think about it because we care and there's other people that care too so, I hope you enjoyed, and God bless. Bye. Bye.